Hello from Bryson City. Time again for another free art lesson. Uh, today we're going to be doing vanishing points. Vanishing points are really cool because you can draw the perspective drawing. It's like a piece of road off into the sunset, the train tracks off into the distance. I'll be giving you a quick tutorial on um, single and double point uh, perspectives. Uh, you will need paper, a ruler, and pencils to get this one done. I've got everything set up here in my studio, and uh, we're, we'll get started. So let's turn the camera around. All right. So here's my ruler. Well, it's just really a straight edge, and I've got a selection of pins that we can use. You can use, instead of pins, you can use uh, pencils. If you'd like to use pencils to erase the guidelines, you're more than welcome to. So to get started, I'm going to select a spot here on the back of my paper. This is going to be our horizon line. So I'm going to use the um, point 0.8. Actually, let's go with the upper. So there's our horizon off the distance. So the next thing we'll need to do is figure out where our vanishing point is going to be. Um, I think for a dynamic composition, I'm going to put it a little over this way. So that's going to be our vanishing point, that little mark. Let me hold it up here so you can see. That's going to be our vanishing point. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw to that vanishing point a lot, another line, still using the point three pin. Right there. And then we'll come down here, let's say this wide. There we go. So now we have a road off into the distance. Just like that. Um, you may want to, let's see, let's figure out about where middle is going to be, and we'll do this. Um, the next thing you want to do, let's say um, over here on this side, let's say there's a building. So I'm going to draw the front side of the building. So here will be the base, followed by a couple walls, like a little, not a house or anything like it, but like a little shed. And actually, let's put that back here. We'll give it a shed roof like this. Okay. Okay. So there's the. So what we do, using the marker again. If you were to draw this with pencil, you can uh, do these guidelines and then erase them. I'm only drawing them this way so you can see how this would work to the vanishing point and this point just above the horizon line also to the vanishing point so now you have these two red guidelines and again these would be on yours would be the same thing you could erase these but let's decide the building is about this long so here's where the edge of our building would be We'll also come through and redraw this line black and redraw the bottom line black. So here's our shed. Um, there's also a door, and the door is going to be closer to the front here. We'll put it right here. 
height for the door. We'll use the other side of the ruler just to keep it simple. Okay, so there's our door, but now we need to figure out the top of the door. So again, we're going to go with this closest one. There's our point on the paper. There's the top line of that. So again, here's the guideline so you can see it. Everything goes back to the vanishing point. So that'd be the top of our door. And then let's say this is like one of those corrugated garage door. So we'll line this up here. So every line on the garage door is going to match up with the vanishing point. If you wanted to draw some architectural drawings or plans of a house, um, using this technique would be great to make sure that they kind of fit uh, everything fits together and looks like it should so there's that and then using this we're going to slide it back just a little bit some windows on our garage door so there's our building there's our garage door so so the ruler I got a question from Rosanna Belt she says what is this ruler card I'm just using a basic ruler actually I pulled this out of my train box so this is an in scale conversion ruler so just in case you were wondering here is 40 feet in in scale, which would be three inches in real in uh, this size. So the size of a small car. <laughs> but any straight edge, as long as it's straight, will work for this. Doesn't need to be a specific ruler. All right. Let's say over here on this side of the road. On here, another line here. Um, let's flare these out just a little bit. Like I said, I'm eyeballing this. I'm not uh, not measuring, not trying to get it exact. So, but over here, I'm going to turn this into. Um, Like a lookout tower. Okay. So there's my lines. And we'll go this way. And same kind of angle over here. Go this way. Probably draw this part a little bit wider because it would be like a walkway. So I'll just kind of hand draw some of this stuff in too. Doesn't have to be perfectly exact. Now the roof here, I'm going to do a bit of an angle. Again, just kind of make it work. I know it probably doesn't look exactly right. So. Now what we're going to do in order to give this some dimension, um, I'm going to start here at the top, all the way back to the vanishing point.
That's how I do it all the way around. Call that done. Same thing there. Looks like my roof pitch is a little off. That's alright, we'll correct it. So there's the overhang for that. Let's come in and let's see, it'd be on a little bit of a that way. And now the row of windows. Bottom part of the windows. Again, lining everything up to the vanishing point. So there's our side windows on the side of our lookout tower. Um, we see we got these legs here. The so legs for the back, if we do the lines, you know, range point will be there and there, and then you know exactly where to add the legs in the back, which would come down like this. Actually, let's switch to a bigger marker. That way we don't have to draw in the legs individually. Let's see. Right, here we go. So let me redo <laughs> let me redo these these legs here. that and one over here there's our legs we'll come in and thicken them up just a little bit so um, on the legs let's say there's this kind of shape one here one here one here and one here all right, so to take those back, again, lining it up with the vanishing point. So all of these cross braces would line up with the vanishing point, just like that. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go back to this little marker You could do this with uh, with the ruler too. I've decided not to just so I can do it quickly. You can also go through and do the closing uh, legs just on the front. So I do that quickly as well. So there's to this leg. There. And then also when you get these extra ones put in, then it shows you where to draw your cross members. So your cross member will be here, 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 and last one. Oop, I'm a little off. That's all right. We'll go there. No, actually I'm not a little off. That's pretty good. So, and then you can draw more cross bracing for these other components. Make it look like like a tower. So um I also didn't draw a good base for this, so that's okay. Oop, I'm breaking the rules. Let me get the ruler back out here and we'll draw a base that all this is attached to. Starting off of this leg right here. And 
across to this leg. So the back would then go from this point to there. And again, because the angle's so dramatic, it's going to go there to there. And Sketch that in. Base for our tower. Oop, again, breaking the rules. <laughs> See, this would come all the way down like this. So this needs to come over more. Let's put one in there. Make it look like this slab has got like a strange bevel to it or something. Some of our sketching from before, a little cross hatching. You know, it's fun that you draw cars. You guys seem to make road. Um, the fun thing to do is always take those pictures from out west, so you can come here on the on the horizon line and put you a couple. Mesas and strange forms in. There you go. Get the get a view like the uh, like it's off in the old west. So you got the mesa and the stuff. You can put in the uh, far off thunderstorm clouds. Big cumulus. to sunset to drive down the care and then take the ruler again to the vanishing point and draw the rays of the sun going off the page so it looked like that with the rays coming off of the sun so you could draw all that in and then um, add your color, colored pencils, markers, whatever, watercolor over this, however you'd like to do it. So, lots of possibilities. <coughs> Excuse me. Lots of possibilities. So, I hope you've enjoyed today's lesson. Again, we're doing Vanishing Point drawings. So, uh, love to see what you're doing. So, please. in the comment um, also any suggestions or feedback, please post in the comments